Okay, so for this question, it says the load hands mass of a wheelbarrow has a combined weight of 500 newtons as shown in the image below. Find the minimum force F required to lift the wheelbarrow. So it is clear to see that we have a force upwards. This will be the force used by the individual Apologies for my drawing. So this will be the floor, the ground in fact, and this force will be the force used or required to lift the, re the wheelbarrow, okay? Now the distance, this distance, this 500 Newtons is actually the combined weight as mentioned. So this is the combined weight of the load inside, let's assume there's lots of rocks inside the wheelbarrow, as well as the weight of the wheelbarrow. So combining both of them, you get, that's how you get the 500 Newton. And the pivot, in this case, will be the center of the wheel. So the distance from the center of the wheel to where the center of the weight is acting the entire weight is acting as 80 cm and from the 500 newton to the force being applied to lift the wheelbarrow is 50 cm so with this being said we can use the info given to calculate the force required to lift the wheelbarrow so as you can see let's say that we take moments taking moments about the pivot, about the pivot. Now, if you take moments about the pivot, which is this point, that's directly in the center of the wheel, we can see that, let me change the color. Let's use a blue. We can see that we have the 500 Newton force acting downward. So if you take everything towards the right side, everything towards the right side, you can see we have a 500 Newton force acting downwards. And we have this force, which we need to determine. This is what we need to calculate. This acts upwards because the person will be and of course, this is not drawn to scale, but of course, the person is lifting, will be lifting the handle of the wheelbarrow upwards in the upwards direction. Okay. So this is what we need to determine. So if we take take a moment about the pivot, we can say that we have anti anti-clockwise moments. And we also have clockwise moments. So if you look at the diagram towards the right side, this 500 Newton force will produce a clockwise moment. So this 500 force will produce a clockwise moment since it's acting downwards and we are taking moments about this pivot okay so this produces a clockwise moment so we will say since it's a clockwise moment so that will be 500 so it will be 500 open brackets times and the distance from that 500 to the pivot is 80 cm so 500 times 80 and if we look at the so there's no other clockwise moments, okay? So the other force that's acting will be this force that is required to lift the entire wheelbarrow. And this force acts about the pivot in a anti-clockwise direction. So the anti-clockwise direction will be, will be the force times, 
And the distance from that force to the pivot is 50 cm plus 80 cm. So it's 80 plus 50. So once you determine this, you will get the force to be 308 newtons. And that's basically the minimum force required to lift the wheelbarrow. So this is your final answer.